We call this our, our mass grave project. And the purpose of this project is to employ different forms of technology and science to understanding what happens inside a grave as the bodies decompose and how that information of what's going on inside the grave can be used to help detect mass graves of this size, smaller mass graves of just a few people rather than uh, much easier to detect larger graves of, of several hundred people. And this has real world applications. So the more that we can determine where a grave is, how old it is, um, how large it is, how many people might be inside, the better that we can determine that remotely without having to have investigators on the ground, the, the better because when we have investigators on the ground in conflict situations, it puts us in danger. Dr. Mundorf, uh, as she developed this project, wanted to make it as robust as possible, have as many different technologies and researchers involved as possible. And so she tracked down uh, people in other departments um, to what we call piggyback on this project, be able to participate as co-investigators and get information that is important for their research but also informs the project. And so she was able to get people in, um, on the Ag Campus, Dr. De Bruyne and Dr. Schaefer, and their students involved. Um, we have some entomology involved. We have other uh, uh, professors involved in plant biology involved, and those involved in isotopes. Um, and then, of course, individuals who are uh, within the university and external to the university involved in some of the remote sensing technologies. So my role as director of the Forensic Anthropology Center is to help coordinate all of those individuals. And we're excited about this research because it's a, it's a new uh, area of research for the Forensic Anthropology Center and what we've done out at the Anthropology Research Facility before. Most of the research has been focused on, on single individuals or, or sometimes two individuals buried in a grave looking at specific decomp questions, decomposition questions. Um, this is a, a broader research study. Um, we like having a lot of different technologies involved in one study and to create a, a very, very robust look at what is going on uh, both under the ground, uh, within the soil itself, and obviously remotely as well.